Hello everyone, this is Nadir Bagaviev and in this video I will be showing you how to use my inexpensive LiDAR. Whenever you receive a package you'll get something like this which is the laser, the box, the camera and the later versions are coming with the red filter. This LiDAR is connected to a USB splitter. You're not going to get it in a package but you can get one on, of your own and it doesn't have to be powered. I checked it and it works without any external power. And obviously the uh, Raspberry Pi. Raspberry Pi will come with the uh, SD card with all the necessary software on it including LiDAR software. After you start up your computer you will get the login and password request so login is Pi and password is Raspberry. For convenience you can start a GUI by typing start X. Now when you're on the main screen start two things. One is LX terminal and another one is file manager. Uh, all the LiDAR software is located at OpenCV OpenCV samples C Your LiDAR already comes pre-calibrated but I will show you the steps of calibration just in case So you enter the directory and you type in calibrator Um, currently I have laser pointing at the ceiling and the distance to the ceiling is two meters so e when you want to calibrate the LiDAR you also have to point the laser at some kind of a flat surface at the distance of two meters so if I turn it on you look at the ceiling and you get this very nice pattern uh, it has calibration has to be done in a dark room so I'm gonna turn off the light and ed execute this program alright so we're in the dark room I turn on the laser just holding it by finger um, and um, executing the program you will see that it will go through several cycles uh, actually 10 cycles and will create a calibration file called output.txt and if you look at the file manager you will see it right here to see the calibration is done well you execute the program called display uh, what it does is it's reading the output txt file and creates the display.jpg file if you double click it you will get this very nice pattern of recognized points and to run the lidar program itself you type in uh, dot slash lidar and execute the program now when you turn on your lidar and for example you point again at the ceiling at the distance of two meters you will see that it keeps updating with with the numbers well quite close to two thousand millimeters and if, if you move lidar for example at the wall you will see that those numbers are changing to 1.7 meters, 1.6 meters and that's a description of each point X, Y and Z. Well that's about it. If you have any questions on uh, how to use LiDAR send me an email at nadir at scientist.com I'll be always glad to listen to you and improve on my program. Thanks. Bye.